3 to 1251. I think it, I just went. Did, oh, did all those people just cut the track? What did I just see? What up, it's John, it's your boy, IBS Kelso. Before the video starts, I just want to say thank you for all the support lately. And if you guys have not yet hit that sub button and seen me come up on your For You page, I'm just going to keep coming up because the grind don't stop, baby. And uh, yeah, let's keep going cranking out, baby. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for the support. And let's get back into the video. Peace. We're on that TM once again. I did some quick changes. I'm hoping that I don't get tandem bike tonight and uh, my max HUD doesn't mess up on me, but back on that freaking tm baby you know the rules we gotta get as much practice as we can i'm definitely gonna try to keep taking this bike to the tippity top and uh I'm just gonna take it nice and slow right here i think my biggest thing is what i'm starting to experience is uh i think i'm like overturning in some spots so i just got to figure out my 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 lean at times but I think for the most part, I'm pretty okay. But I did change my drivetrain from 1353 to 1251. I think I just went, did all, did all those people just cut the track? What did I just see? Right, I'm just gonna check up here. But with that being said, I think I just wanted more, more power pretty quick. And then I'll worry about getting into fourth gear later down the road, but I think I'm fine for now. Good thing I went right side, holy cow. But so far, 1251 is feeling pretty good for drivetrain. I also changed my brakes. Apparently, I was on like 245 instead of 220. So I was braking like it was nothing. But so far, the bike's feeling pretty good the way I have it. Get that triple in. Yep. Triple again. Yeah, yesterday I was having a lot of struggle on that. Plus, I also changed uh, that throttle thing. I'm not 100% something I said yesterday. Um, the throttle kind of, I guess, what do you call that? Sensitivity. I turned the dead zone to 15% just to see if it was going to make a huge difference. Uh, just to see if it was going to make a huge difference on like how I'm pulling down the trigger. And I got to say, like, I don't really see, I see a little bit of a good difference. I just don't know too much because on some, some tracks it was doing a-okay. -okay, but tonight I think the gearing might have been the, the wrong thing for me. I was probably getting too much torque to the back wheel starting off. So think that's something i'm gonna have to start figuring out especially for other bikes oh man i could actually made over that man i don't know how i just butchered this dang it all right we'll, we'll case and get hit up in the air fair enough fair enough it's cool with me but so far we're doing pretty good i think we're in like fourth place right now i'm back in tgr shout out to tgr for hosting these i think it's my second time uh, a little a little oj on that i'm gonna take the inside here just hit the table oh no man it's not a table. I've never hit that inside, so I didn't know what I was prepared for. Let's not start falling back, though. Let's keep that uh, intensity up. Let's keep that intensity up. Let's not hit this guy's bike. <clears throat> yeah, I really am liking the TM. I know a lot of people are probably thinking I'm a madman, but I don't know what it is, dude. This bike's fun, especially for it to be, like, the underdog of the pack. You know, it was really cool to see, like, I was literally the only TM out there only person i wanted to try dude what are you doing barber fair enough fair enough you know i'm not too mad i'm not too mad <laughs> but gosh dude going all the way outside to go inside what was that cheese baby oh well i'll take it i'll take it it's not like i've never done that before so gotta gotta respect it i think i'm just kind of upset now that he's still in the lead ahead of me but he is on that he is on that uh 450 so i gotta let it happen right maybe i don't even know guess we just let let things like that happen let's do a single oh gosh table table try to jump over okay probably on me i probably did a bad angle that was probably on me but just the fact that the guy doesn't they don't get you know they don't get penalized for it at all dude like they like i don't know if it's like a like a a ping issue but like he didn't even like flinch when he hit me but I guess my biggest thing now is just don't let Barber stay in front of me, right? Yeah, doing that? Absolutely not. Shout out to Barber, though. Not being mean. <laughs> Hope you don't think I'm being an a-hole to you, man. Just trying to keep my grind up, and I can't get over that. I, I, I think second gear, don't OJ it. Panther told me to, uh, you know, focus on, like, kind of keeping your composure and, like, knowing that you can check up for things. It's better to double than fall. I think that's what I'm trying to get into. But I feel like I can definitely send that on a good day. And I know I can. I just got to, like, check up, you know? Oh, man, I'm a little off this side. It's okay. But, yeah, slower is faster. And that's what we're going to keep work focusing on. 
really happy with my progress though to be honest with you like this has been like where it's at for me like my bread and butter i don't know if i'm gonna hit that triple and see that right there is like i knew i wasn't gonna be able to hit it i should have just went for the double <clears throat> i gotta like be able to downside that correctly and then be able to turn in pretty quick and still have all the drive and that right there i'm turning but i'm turning too far out to because i'm basically clipping the uh the tough block so i gotta work on cornering still like with turning and then we'll figure that one out stay low let's do a triple there we go kind of hip into this there we go i'll take that now nah, now we're cooking see like when i actually focus up on it we're looking pretty good and then yesterday i couldn't even get the through the whoops to save my life today i'm able to we live to see another day kind of upset that barber's still in front of me i'm gonna have to work on that johnson nice and easy triple let's do the triple out I want to stay close to him. I know he's on that 450, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's bark on this, man. Dang it. I mess up just a bit. I am going to cut close, though. Oh, no. I went over. No. And I mess up. Brax, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't hate me. I'm so sorry, Brax. Oh, dude, I thought I was going to be able to get into that section with like no, with ease, with, pro with no problem. See, look. It's like having a, I'm having the hardest time getting that triple now. Something now we gotta conquer, something we gotta work on. I'm so sorry, Brax, if you're watching this, bro. I do apologize. Yeah, I feel bad for doing back-to-back -back videos on the same track, but this track is a W, and I do feel bad that I didn't get to qualify. So I'm trying to put down as much practice as I can, and I'm feeling good on it. Like, I really do like it. Now, can we hit this perfectly? A little bit of slide out gotta love it a little bit of slide out we're like how do we turn to the inside and go f almost clearly off the track beyond me let's turn in more there we go i don't know it's little things like that that i just got to clean up on but very excited for friday man i'm definitely going to be locked in i don't know if i'm going to stream that day and stream it uh i feel like i worked that day anyway so i think i'm going to make that excuse to where it's like yeah i'm not going to be uh streaming because i got to work but technically yeah if you guys know me i'm probably not gonna freaking stream because i really want to record get a good video out of it and at least try to qualify you know like it'd be really nice but i feel i like if i was able to do it at already preseason i barely made it in but i know like what was wrong for like i, I was I, I qualified pretty good like i i wasn't the fastest guy but i did qualify so now it's just like cleaning it up you know getting a better start and uh literally focus on focusing on myself like you know not not being too eager and you know being able to downside something simple like that you know instead of casing like actually being able to downside just you know take it nice and slow so we're gonna get there we're gonna figure it out we're gonna focus up but i think the tm is gonna lead me to a pretty good spot i'm not looking for any first place um this is my first season and i really just kind of want to dip my feet in and just get as much progression learn from the other guys that's in the in the class you know kind of touch base and be like you know what are you guys doing and what we can all just work on you know because at the end of the day like we're just it's it's us against the track not us against each other you know like we're all racing against the time trying to beat you know i i mean at the end of the day yeah i guess you could say you're against the other person wanting to win the chip but you know for the most part everybody's racing that racing that track the exact same trying to conquer it so you know I don't think this community is as toxic as like people call it out to be. Yeah, there is <laughs> quite a few tox tox toxic people in toxicity places, but I think as this community grows and we show a brighter side, people lighten up really good. So we just got to take it with a grain of salt and keep pushing like that. So a double, Let's see downside. So I just got to pull the front end down and actually like get my get my front tire on the ground quicker, so I can get more speed. There we go. I, I think that's something I just picked up and I'm going to have to like, like it's, it's going to be muscle memory. It's not going to happen overnight, but I need to muscle memory to where it's like, I'm getting that front wheel down quicker, quicker. And that's just still not it. Like I'm still, I don't know. Maybe it's okay to, okay. That, that right there is what, what, what ticks my box, bro. What is that? Like, I'm literally just, just turning over, and, like, I get no traction on the bike. Oh, my goodness. That is annoying. Oh, well, I finished seventh. Yesterday, I think we were doing top top 11, so that was pretty good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to round, or race two. Um, 
as I went through practice, this bike, this track just barks more and more every time I like lay down. Like, so um, I also changed from a 110 back to 120. I realized I just wasn't getting enough traction and I realized I just need to be back at the 120. So yeah, that's what we did and we were kind of barking a little bit more. So let's see what we can get into. Um, yeah, I think I'm really enjoying just giving you guys at least two races instead of one. Um, I don't know, it just gives you more feeling like what I could have improved on. So let's really work on what I would think what I was improving on at the end of it was basically slowing down and um, yeah, all that good jazz being able to get like, you know, I don't know, just be more consistent, be slower, like approach, like knowing that if like, I need to double, it's gonna be faster than trying to go for a line that I knew I couldn't do. So that's what we're gonna focus on here. Just really start playing with it. And oh yeah, also lean forward down. I was doing that during practice and actually was helping me out a lot. Like here, lean down so I can get way more traction or more, more, more ground time than before. Let's go down the second, let's cut down. Really enjoying this track, dude. I am so sad I did not get to qualify. See that right there was on me. I think I was trying to. I think I was trying to just go through there too fast. Like I was trying to hit the quicker line instead of taking up too much space. So, and I'm trying to whip. You know, stop doing that. There we go. Let's make it happen. There we go. It's gonna be sketchy. It's gonna be close. And because of the way I went, I gotta just double through. Ah, dang. And I knew it was because I wanted to take the outside, but I knew Mikey was there. What are you hitting me for? Uh, is that net code? I don't know. <laughs> it might have been net code because... Ooh, nice. Good pass. But see, then how is that not net code? Because they're all like the exact same net code color. And he made a, a, an opportunist pass there. Which now you got me glorified. Which I... Act, that right there is when I should have done more... Dude, I literally was doing it during like practice. Probably because of what I'm talking right now. But that is right there is probably when I should have did more down like ground time and now I'm just like over jumping everything oh man oh man dude the cameras come on and we are doing horrifying things dude you gotta love the way life goes but it is because I'm talking and you know you don't really give a full 100% when you are talking you're probably doing like maybe 70% so guess I'll focus up but I do like I do enjoy talking when I'm around this time because just anything that comes to mind, I like saying it. That way it's, you know, just a good vibe and kind of know what I'm thinking at that time and like what frustration I'm going to. Cause you know, not everything's perfect. And I think you guys should see my frustration. Not, not to where like, I should have downsided, see? And if you don't downside, you're not getting the triple. So that's just something I gotta work on. Just me being able to remember that every time, being able to do repetition, 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 you know, consistency. And you know, that's just kind of like where I'm like, dang, like, and I'm not defeating myself. It's something that I'm trying to drill into my head. And I think like if anybody was to pick something up on that, it's just, you know, it, it doesn't come overnight. And if you want it to happen, you know, like you just got to keep talking about it. Like you're probably going to go, I'm probably going to do it like five more times before like it really gets through my head to where it's like, I need to do that. But it's kind of like where the fun is. And that's like where I know that I'm learning. So I'm always happy to do these videos because then I get to come back and look at like, dang, you know what? I am learning. And it's like, I get to see like what I was doing wrong. Maybe I could have railed something like harder. Pause. <laughs> Probably could have been railing a corner harder and uh, just, you know, corner anticipation and or I, I should be like downsiding stuff, you know, better. So I do enjoy it. And that's why I like making these videos and making videos for YouTube because it, it, it just, I like showing my progression, especially. And I guess why I'm here, I do appreciate a lot of you guys. I've had almost 70% of new viewers, and it's been a lot of people, and 30 returning viewers. I guess it was like looking at my recap for the year. And um, yeah, I almost made 3 million views in this year, so that was really cool. And like I said, I had three months off from doing YouTube. So I had 3 million, I had 3 million, uh, almost 3 million views with almost 100K likes. Um, yeah. And almost 5,000 subs, so that was really cool. Really good numbers for myself. I can't honestly lie. I'm not even mad about anything that's happened this year. Um, I, I'm not mad, I shouldn't say per se. Like, I'm not upset. I just know, man, like, I can only wonder what, like, what would have happened if, like, I didn't go to Hawaii, you know? Like, where would I be with more subscribers and all that? Which I'm not dwelling on. It's just like, dude. It's insane to know like this amount of drive I put in to where it's like, what if I would have done it then, you know? You never know, cause that three months is a long time, you know? Like three months is a lot. So 
I got like a lot done in three months even doing YouTube here, especially like, I think it was like August, October, November now, like that's four months or so. Like I just done so much in that little amount of time. So just imagine really putting in all that extra work. It would have been super sick, but I'm trying to get a salvage another top 10 here. I like literally messed up so bad and you're some really fast riders in here. So I just got to endure. I need to stop trying to go for fancy lines and just, you know, be consistent. I am not that fast to be doing that. See, now I'm just casing everything. Got a couple, what, maybe two laps left. But I know I've seen Doug in here, he's Brax, whole bunch, bunch of fast names up in here. So I know I'm more worth than this because last time it was almost the exact same people and I was, I felt like I was being way more consistent that time. So I talked about like what I was going to like improve on and now all of a sudden we get here and I'm just doing the complete opposite, but I feel like I'm still riding pretty great. I just know like where I'm messing up at. Like right here, I could be downsiding way better so I can get the triple. Like letting off the throttle and just letting the bike flow like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Oh, last lap is now, okay. Wow, things come up so quick. Is it is it seven minutes plus one? I feel like it's seven minutes plus one instead of, instead of two. So, I mean, that's not bad, I'm not bad at it. But let me catch these guys, because I know I've, I've been doing that, John, this whole time. Can I, I, I want to take this line, but I can't. I can't. Ah, uh, Mikey. Never mind. That's like the line I wanted to take. I want to take the outside and cut down just a bit so I can get the line going. And now I got to reap the benefits and reap what I sowed and literally just take last place. Like I knew what I needed to do and I just couldn't do it. So another player was in my, in my vicinity, in my way. So nothing against Mikey. He's just wrong timing, man. Just like every time I am there though, like he's been there at the exact same time and he just won't let me get it. Like his line choice is completely different from what I want to do, so. Oh well, too bad, so sad. But I feel like right now there's a lot of 450s in here, so really take away the 450s and see where I place with the 250s and we'll we'll talk about it. I'm about to actually about to see that before I end this video because I, I really want to see how many 250s are in here. I feel like where I would have placed, but I don't know. I'm still catching up to these. I, I feel like I have a really good flow on here. Go, Mikey. Go, Mikey. Let me see that, John. You float like a butterfly. There we go. Sting like a bee. Get right over that, John. Let's hug, let's hug tight. Let's hug tight. All right, we're going we're gonna to do a snap. We're going to do a snap. Yo. Oh, man, we spun out. I'm going to try to like do a 180 snap back. Oh, well. GG, I ain't mad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to check that out before I completely end. How many 250s was in this, John? Yeesh, one. One, two, one, two. Two other, two other 250s. So it was definitely stacked with just 450s. Uh, I was like, it was the most inevitable reason. They had to like crash a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'll catch you guys all in the absolute next one. It's your boy, Abby S. Kelso. Pa, 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 pa,